Welcome back everyone. I do realise, after having a look around online, that putting a master volume box in the effects loop of the Fender Hot Rod Amp is slightly controversial. Nevertheless, let's get after it. Wait, what? I wonder if... Uh... No, anyway, the Fender Hot Rod Amp. So we all know its major downfall is, if you get that volume anywhere near to above two, it's just too... But I love the Fender Hot Rod Amp. I had one in the UK. I've had two so far. It's a great full big sounding amp, which is one of the reasons I bought it over the Fender Blues Junior. I didn't have the budget for the 68 Deluxe Reverb, uh, the Vibralux, etc. You know, one of those amps that you really want, the Tone King, but maybe one day. I think the only way you could ever have it anywhere close to full volume is in a recording studio. I mean, you're out gigging, for example, you can't have the thing at full volume. I mean, it's 40 watts, and the sound engineer is just going to tell you to turn it down. And to be honest, most of the distortion comes from the preamp tubes anyway, which is why I decided to buy this. We're gonna feed the input on the little black amp box into the preamp out on the hot rod. We're going to put the output from the little black amp box into the power amp in. This is the clean tone on the amp without the little black amp box installed. This is the amp sound as you can see at a volume of five with a little black amp box installed and turned up slightly. This is the volume of the amp at 12 with a little black amp box installed and turned up slightly at still bedroom levels, but now you get some of that nice preamp tone. So guys, thanks for watching my review of the JHS Little Amp Box. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell if you want to be notified of any future videos. I'll see you next time.